Okay then, let's reconvene in front of the inn. Lieutenant, don't you want to go with the others? Dax, how did you know about that? Uh, don't be so prickly wickly. We'll be fine. There's no doubt in my mind that we can handle this. You, however, I'm not so sure about. Whoa, 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 why you gotta single a guy out like that? Thank you so much, everyone. I assume this goes without saying, but still, your father was a truly amazing individual. Once a life is lost, it can never return. The time you spent with Daryl while he was alive, though, will never be lost. Memories are eternal. He'll be with you as long as you don't forget him. Feel free to lean on me whenever things get too tough for you. Do you want to hold hands with me, Relia? Huh? Yeah. We can walk holding hands. You know, like we did before. Like before? Oh, sorry. Did you not like it when we held hands? Maybe. Maybe not. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. If you decide you want to later on, just tell me and we can. Okay. War is truly abhorrent. When you're shooting it out with an enemy fleet, you almost get used to the horror of taking lives. But in the end, it's the same thing. You're right. I was disgusted that people could slaughter each other like this. But it's really no different from what we do. Seeing as we're both in the military, we mustn't forget that we're responsible for things like this. Sir. Sorry. Do you 
believe in jinxes? Not really. I'd like to think good jinxes exist, though. Good jinxes? For instance, I get the feeling that if I wake up before someone comes to wake me up in the morning, that good things will happen all day long. I see. Like, she sells seashells by the seashore. Is that what you're talking about? That's not a jinx. That's a proverb. Actually, you're both wrong. Kenny here. What is it? Captain, I'm sorry to report that it will take us longer than expected to reach your position. I knew it. That's not all. You see, our ultra-long-range sensors have detected a Chrono spacecraft. Readings indicate it is scheduled to arrive before us. That's pretty terrible news. We wish you the best, sir. What do we do? There's not much we can do. We're sitting ducks once that ship gets here. Our only hope is that this expunction technique works and they give up on Relia. Then let's hurry. objects with signets, can you? Actually, you can. People have developed all sorts of tools that make use of signets. I was thinking, what if you strapped a bunch of scrub brushes to a large plate, then somehow get the contraption to move by itself? You could use it to clean floors. Wouldn't that be convenient? Wow, that might actually work. If you ever get to make them, could you please give me one? It would be a lifesaver when cleaning the training hall. Ugh. 
I'm so sorry about your hair, kiddo. I mean, um, that hairstyle is pretty cute, too. Looks great on you. It looks cute? Sure does. I mean, it'd look even cuter if you accessorized it, but it's still cute. Even cuter? So, cheer up, okay? I'm here for you. Thank you? Don't look. I feel like someone's watching me. I know. It's highly unlikely he'll attack us in town, but there's no doubt in my mind he's out for blood. I knew it. <sighs> he's gone now. He could come back at any time, though. Stay vigilant. I will. This is Kenny. I have an update, sir. The Chrono ship has just entered Fakrete 4's orbital trajectory. What? I hope we make it in time. Do you think you'll be all right, Captain? I'll contact you later. We have no choice. I wouldn't. Who's that? General Alma. As part of Kronos's militant faction, he tops the galaxy's most wanted list. How kind for someone of his stature to greet us. So, he's behind all this. Fidel! Relia? But how can that be? Sis, what? Really, uh, did she say sis? Are you too imbecilic to realize the instrument you have is not really a... What? The one in your possession is Feria, and it is the foundation upon which Kronos is to build its new world order. It also differs from the unit you hold so much extraneous affection for. Thus, I doubt you will mind returning it. Why is a famous general fighting in the galactic equivalent of some backwoods Hicks family feud? Interesting question. I could ask the same of you, Captain Kenny. Hold oh, Just how do you expect to save little Miss Starlight from all these heavily armored troops? If all the reports I have received on you are correct, well, I believe your name is Fidel. So, Fidel, if you possess even a modicum of sympathy for that thing, stand right there and don't move. Retrieve Faria for me. Nikki! I know that light. Activate the neutralization device. So, the boy is the catalyst after all. Fascinating. With some modifications, we should be able to draw even more power from her. Bring her here! We'll be taking Feria with us. Thank you for holding on to her, Fidel. Due to your act of kindness, we were able to collect precisely the data we needed. <laughs> Take us away. Fidel! Really? Damn it! The Institute! The 
they seem to have warped out. Now she's not even in the same sector as us. Isn't there something we can do to save Relia? Anything at all? We'd have to get our ship back before we could do anything else. And how long will it take for you to get it back? It's scheduled to arrive in a day at the earliest, but we'll likely arrive in two. Then all we can do is wait. Wait. This is a problem between the Federation and Kronos. There's no need for you Fakredians to get involved. It's too late for that. Don't take it the wrong way. She was thinking of your well-being when she said that. If you come with us, then... If we go with you? Then... You may never be able to return to this planet again. Even if we do save Rilia. We might never see our home again? <sighs> if you wish to join us, be prepared for that eventuality. Those of you who remain undeterred can assemble in Santa Roll. Understood. Okay. You've already made up your mind, haven't you, Fiddly? Yeah. I'll always follow your lead, wherever you take us. Maybe it'd be a good idea to return to Stahl first. I'll let you choose the way. Kenny here. Captain. Our vessel will be arriving in Fake Creed 4 Sector in approximately 17 hours from now. Contact me again once you enter orbit. Do you think Fidel and the others will come? What would you do in my shoes? Would you be so eager to conduct research in an unknown land? If it meant possibly throwing everything away and never coming home? <sighs> I bet you would. That's why you're not here now. If a true researcher somehow dropped a valuable piece of evidence into a bottomless pit, he jumped right in after it without thinking a whit about his own safety. <laughs> right? What a poor excuse. I wonder if he believes it. As a central Rasulian officer, I have a responsibility to care for my subordinates and protect the country from harm. It would be wrong to forget that. On the other hand, what of Fidel? I can't in good conscience abandon my mentor's own son. Please, Master. I need your guidance. What would you do in my shoes? Fiddly, you do... recall when you guys took me in, right? Yeah. So many were killed. Like Papa and Mama and more. Not to forget your own mom. Because that wicked illness... beset our little town. It was disastrous. I know I was certainly at wit's end. But then you said... These words. I'll take care of you like kin. Dry those tears, right? Stop that blushing here. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> my dad was always in other lands. Meaning my world lacked structure. I bet taking care of you is why... I'm still here today. You think so? <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> <laughs> We're no longer little 
little kids now. No, we're not. Well then... Can we, uh... Sorta, kinda... I don't wanna... Stay your sister any longer. Well then... I'll stop being a big brother to you. Then can I... Call... You Fidel now? Works for me. Alright, Fidel. Here on out, I won't allow any people to hurt you. I should... I should say that, not you. Let's go. Our pals will want us back soon. beautiful days like this. Come to think of it, I haven't had a chance to actually do a proper load of laundry on the road. I want to bury my face like this in a blanket that's just been dried in the sun. Now I want to do the laundry.
Oh, Emerson. Ah, Fiore's already here too. You're late. Sorry about that. At least you proved me right that you'd come. So you did come after all? We figured this whole thing started with us, so we should see it through to the end. Plus, we couldn't leave Relia or Feria like this. Has Victor arrived yet? No, he hasn't. Oh, I see. Well, he does have the most going on. What about you, Fiore? I'm going because it's apparently in my blood as a researcher to do so. Kenny to the Charles de Gaulle. Charles de Gaulle here. Delacroix! Whew, it's such a relief to know you're okay. As is the rest of the crew, sir. We're all back in action. So, what did you want? Transport the five of us up there. I detect one more person heading in your direction. What do you want me to do? One more? Aha! Uh -huh. Look over there! It's Victor! Sorry to be so tardy. You made up your mind. Yes. I just submitted my request for leave. Change of plans. Make that six people to be mine. Six it is. Place. I forgot this is your first time here, Victor. No time to chat. We need to make for the bridge. equipment at the Royal Institute surprised me, but this is something else. So, this is your new ship? You know it. Welcome to the latest in battleship technology, the Charles de Gaulle G. The previous one was a research vessel, whereas this one was built specifically for combat. Thus, it should prove more than capable of taking on Kronos' cruisers. I'm not sure I really get the difference, but both versions sound spectacular. What's the deal? The target is already well within the detection field of our ultra-long-range sensors. According to their data, the ship is heading for the Omphalos system at a speed of warp 14.3. Warp 14.3? That has to be some kind of mistake. It isn't. What's that mean? It means they can travel faster than us. This particular Charles de Gaulle is as advanced as Federation warship technology gets. It boasts a cruising speed of warp 11.2 and a top speed of warp 12.9. Despite all that, our adversaries leave us in the dust because they can travel at warp 14.3. That doesn't make sense. It's only a difference of 1.4, isn't it? A difference in warp speed of magnitude 1.4 equates to them being more than twice as fast as us. Moreover, we can't continuously operate at top speed. Cruising slows us down even further, meaning we could never hope to catch them as long as they keep going. Oh no! Gravitic warp time. That's impossible. The gravitic warp engine is still an experiment. It hasn't even undergone its 24-hour endurance test yet. A real-world deployment is tantamount to suicide. That alone doesn't make it impossible. 
It just makes it not the safest bet in the world. I've managed to establish contact with Dr. Krupp at Remote Station 5. You are too damn good at this. Long time no see, Doctor. Long time indeed, Captain. I hear that you've decided to take the Model G out for a spin. You are indeed a Kenny through and through. Sorry about that, but this ship's imperative to my mission. Well, it has to be tested at some point. Why not make it now? By the way, while I assume there's only one reason you'd contact me at this juncture, let me ask for the hell of it. What do you want? To use Gravitic Warp. Denied. You're allowed to go a maximum warp speed of 11, and that's only in spurts. You've got to be joking. That's slower than normal warp speed. There's a dangerously high probability that we won't be able to control all the creation energy required to activate the gravitic warp engine. Therefore, we're forced to use the normal warp engine for energy, resulting in the aforementioned lack of speed. As concise and accurate an explanation as ever, Miss Patriciani. I fail to see your issue, Captain. The normal warp engines aboard that cruiser are state-of-the-art. You can go plenty fast. Well... The Chrono ships have a cruising speed of 14.3. What? I was totally unaware they'd come so far with their technology. Fascinating. We've surmised that their tech is likely based on symbometrics. Symbometrics? They do say it directly influences the fundamental composition of matter. Meanwhile, we've barely scratched the surface of that discipline. No wonder they're ahead. We can't disregard the possibility that Kronos is able to repress creation energy, or perhaps a similar type, through the use of symbometrics. What do you have there? I'm reviewing the information we recovered from the database inside their facility. It seems, however, that their symbometric research draws heavily upon the principles of Fakrete IV signaturgy. I can't grasp much of what's written here. Let me see that data of yours. Although, judging by what you said, I might not be able to understand much of it at the moment. If possible, I'd like to get the opinion of a local expert. Fiore. You've already input all the information I've gathered into that machine. If you want to learn anything new, you should probably ask someone else. Speaking of which, what about asking Cassius? He's probably our best bet. We'll head for this local expert's place immediately, Doctor. Once we're there, you can talk to him directly. Perfect. I'll set it so I can receive transmissions at any time. You know the drill, Anne. Take her with you to the Royal Institute in Langdok. Yes, sir. The rest of us will hold down the fort until they're back. I still make far too many wasteful movements. Victor, you've been more than a help to us. 
Maybe. But I'm afraid I might accidentally hurt someone behind me. Don't worry, because that's what I'm here for. If anything happens, I can take care of it. That's why I'm worried. Wait, what? Uh, what exactly is that supposed to mean, huh? I mean what I say. It would be all the more shameful to harm a female ally. I'm fine. It's not like he doesn't trust me to do the job. to the bridge. How'd it go? I believe we'll have our answer soon enough. That's wonderful. Then come to the bridge ASAP. All right. <sighs> the two of them get along with each other way too well. Connect me to Dr. Krupp. How's it coming along, Doctor? It's done. That's how it's coming, Slowpoke. Already? You never cease to amaze, Doctor. Well, let's cut to the chase. You'll need to both reprogram some aspects of the software and physically apply symbols to the outside of the Gravitic Warp Engine. Imbue the Warp Engine with symbols? I would never have thought of that. It's possible. And I can rewrite the software from here. But the symbols are the real problem. Sadly for you, I'm not a Symbometrics expert. I don't know a thing about how to imbue objects with symbols. Dr. Krupp, can you show me a list of the symbols we need? This is the symbological formula, a copy of which I've sent to your engine room's terminal. It looks pretty intricate, but I should be okay. What? Are you kidding me? They're the same as signets in principle, so... Anyway, I've never done such long and complex ones before, but I'll give it all I've got. Excellent. Say, what was your name again? Fiore. Fiore Brunelli. I'll have to remember that. Very well, let me start rewriting the program. You can faithfully reproduce the formula I sent. We shouldn't have any problems. Got it. Review that engine good. Leave it to me. Um, uh, Fiore? Would you mind if I tagged along and watched you imbue the engine? I've never seen anyone imbue an object before, so I can't help but be curious. I suppose it's only natural for a Signaturge to be interested in this kind of thing. Mind if she comes too, Anne? Of course. No objections here. <gasps> yes! You should come with me and see it for yourself, Fidel. You weren't around when I got mine imbued, so I bet you've never seen it performed before, right? What? Uh, I don't know. It can't hurt to acquire some new knowledge. I don't see why you would refuse. She speaks the truth. There's never a reason to turn down a request from a lady. Captain! <sighs> Follow me to the engine room. Deck three, engine room.
This must be the symbological formula he sent. Luckily, I just started researching compound signets and the combinations of base signets that form them. I've tried many different sequences before, but I've never seen anything near this complex. That's stark evidence of how great Cronus' strides in symbological technology have been. And those strides are what led to the creation of Relia and Faria's signets? This is the engine room. The Gravitic Warp Engine's core should be right up ahead. for you to get any closer, so could you please stand back? All right, then. This is it. Okay, Fiore. I'll bring up the symbological formula on this terminal, and you can do the actual imbuing. If you want to view the formula from a different angle, or have any questions at all, please let me know. Thanks. You know, I don't think I'll ever get over feeling nervous when I have to imbue someone else's stuff. Alright, let's get to it. So this is what imbuing looks like. And that was our final symbol. <sighs> Thank goodness. It's all over. Congratulations on a job well done, Fiore. Are you okay? I am tired, but I do want to see the results of all this. I suppose we should make our way to the bridge now. Updated the software. Now our fate is squarely in the hands of Lady Luck. I thought you might like to know, Captain, that I've never done this without running months of tests first. 
If this ends in failure, I'll apologize to you all in heaven. I highly doubt that'll be necessary. I'll cut the power to the engine if I see any abnormalities. I see. Shut down regular warp engines. Yes, sir. Shutting down regular warp engines. First, we need to see if it can even start. Now, engage Gravitic Warp Engine. Aye, aye, sir. Engaging the Gravitic Warp Engine. What's going on? Come on. The Gravitic Engine's up and running. Warp 1. We good? All systems normal, and Gravitic Wave values within predicted limits. First, try increasing the speed to warp five. Warp five. Yes, sir. Warp two, three, four, and warp five. There don't seem to be any problems yet. Now it's time for the real test. My calculations say we can safely accelerate to warp 15. Just do it carefully. You heard him. Accelerate to warp 15. Uh, yes, sir. Six, seven, eight, nine. We're now at warp ten, sir. Keep accelerating. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Good so far. Careful. This is the moment of truth. 14.2, 14 14.4, 14.6, 14.8. Warp 15, sir. All systems appear to be normal. Did it turn out okay? Yes. At least it would seem that way. What a feat! It is, isn't it? Yes, oh, we wow. totally did. So ridiculous it's ridiculous. It's success, it's Captain. How magnificent! To think that imbuing made this possible! Congratulations, Captain Kenny. The spacecraft is now officially the fastest in the Federation. We're the best! <sighs> spectacular! Nice! We owe you a huge debt of gratitude, Doctor. Now, Fiori is the one you should be thanking, not me. You're truly something special. What do you say to coming to work for me once this thing is over and done with? Thank you. I'll think about it. According to my readings, there should be no issue with maintaining this speed. It could theoretically go up to 16, but there's not enough data yet to back that claim up. Stay cruising at 15 until we have some more. This should be plenty fast anyway. Keep sending me flight data as you receive. Also, stay vigilant and remember, return to normal space the moment any aberrations occur. Will do. Thanks again for your help, Doctor. Troop, over and out. Maintain warp 15. We're going after that Chrono ship. Yes, sir. Now plotting our course. At this speed, it shouldn't take long to catch up with them. I doubt they'll take kindly to our presence either. In the event they engage us right after emerging from subspace, get some rest while you can. 